Relationships Between Angles, Quarter 3, Week 2. What have you noticed about these pictures? In real world, the relationships of angles are used in different ways like in geometric arts, carpentries, architectural designs, etc. Parallel and perpendicular lines are used as guide in roads, wire posts, and the like. In these lessons, you will be able to learn the different angle relationships that we usually see in our surroundings without any idea that they are one. We will also discuss about parallel and perpendicular lines. Let us begin with congruent angles. So we are given uh, two angles here. If angle ABC is equal to 75 degrees and angle PQR is equal to 75 degrees, then you can say that they are congruent. In symbols, we have here the symbol of angle. ABC is congruent. This is the symbol for congruent to angle PQR. So, if two angles are congruent, then they have the same measurements. Another example, we have angle A which is 48 degrees, angle B is also 48 degrees. So we can say that these two angles are congruent. Pareho lang ng measurement. Next, pair of angles is complementary angles. Measure of angle ABC plus measure of angle DEF is equal to 90. So, kapag meron tayo ditong small m, ang ating answer na di, ah, wala na tayong degree sign dito. Pero kung wala tong m, meron tayo ditong degree. So, complementary angles, pag daw pinag-add yung dalawang angle, the answer is 90 degrees. So, again, if the sum of the two angles is equal to 90 degrees, then the angles are complementary. So, just like here in our example, angle ABC is 40 degrees plus angle DEF is 90 F 50 degrees. So, 40 plus 50, ang sagot natin ay 90 degrees. Ayan, 40 plus 50, 90 degrees. Next, pair of angles is supplementary angles. Measure of angle PQR, which is 30, plus measure of angle STU, which is 150, is equal to 180. 180. So, if the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then the angles are supplementary. So, kung yung complementary angles, ang sum nila is 90 degrees, Ang supplementary angles, ang sum nila is 180 degrees. So again, 30 plus 150, that is 180. So 30 plus 150 is 180. Next, how about intersecting lines and vertical angles? So, pag sinabi natin intersecting lines, these are the lines that intersect. So, two lines, ang given natin dito ay two lines that intersect at one point. So, yun yung intersecting line. So, nagkatagpo sila dito. Okay? So, given tayo angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, again, intersecting lines are lines that meet at a certain point. Ito yung point natin. Ang tawag dun ay point of intersection. Vertical angles are formed by two intersecting lines. There are two pairs of vertical angles in our given figure. Angle 1 and angle 2 
is a pair of vertical angles. Angle 3 and angle 4 is also a pair of vertical angles. So, yung vertical angles natin, ito yung magka-opposite lang. Opposite, 1 and 2. Sorry, 3 and 4. Then, vertical angles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, pareho lang sila ng measure. So, example, this is, let's say, 80 degrees. Ibig sabihin, so yung angle 3 natin is 80 degrees, ang ka-opposite niya is angle 4. Ibig sabihin, yung angle 4 natin ay also 80 degrees. Then, itong angle 2 natin, 100 degrees. Ang vertical, ang vertical angle niya, ka-vertical angle niya is angle 1. So, ibig sabihin, angle 1 is also 100 degrees. So, again, vertical angles are congruent. Okay, this is also an example of intersecting lines. So, kung meron tayong angle A, B, C, and D, so, alin dyan yung pair of angles? So, angle A is congruent to angle B. Ayun yung ka-opposite niya. Angle C is congruent to angle D. Okay, so again, vertical angles are congruent. And vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines. Okay, so ayan, kung 40 degrees itong angle na to, angle A, ibig sabihin yung angle B ay also 40 degrees. Then, kung yung ating angle D is 140, meaning itong ating angle C is... 140 degrees also. Okay. Next. Another pair of angles is adjacent angles. Angle BEN, angle BEN, and angle TEN have a common side which is ray EN. So, ito yun. Okay, common side nila yon. So, B, E, N, T, E, N. So, common side is ray E, N. Two angles are adjacent if they have a common side. So, ito yung common side ng ating two angles. And those two angles are called adjacent angles. Next, linear pair. So, this is an example of linear pair. If angle 1, this is angle 1, and angle 2 are adjacent, so kanina na-discuss na yung adjacent, they have common, common side. Since measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to 180, then angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair. So, ibig sabihin, pag linear pair, Sila ay supplementary angles and also adjacent angles. If in case you add the measurements of the two adjacent angles and you have a sum of 180 degrees, then the angles form a linear pair. So combination lang siya ng adjacent and supplementary angles. So dapat may common side at ang sum ng angles nila ay 180 degrees bago siya masabing linear pair. From the word line, di ba? From the word line, para nakaform siya ng line dito, straight line. Tapos meron lang silang common side. So here is the angle 1 and angle 2. Next, 
let's proceed to perpendicular lines. So, this time, let's talk about lines. Kanina, nabang, nabanggit ko na yung intersecting lines. Now, let's have the perpendicular lines. So, line L is perpendicular to line T. This is the symbol for perpendicular. Okay, parang inverted capital T. And line M is perpendicular to line N. Perpendicular lines are intersecting lines that form right angles. So, intersecting lines, so meaning meron tayong point of intersection, ito yon, at nagform tayo ng right angles. Diba from lesson, a uh, week one lessons, nabanggit ko na yung ating right angles, pag may nakita tayo ditong small box, it means the measure is 90 degrees or um, it is called right angle. So, another example, ano, this is just the bigger version of the example a while ago. So, again, my point of intersection or intersecting lines that form right angle. Now, let's proceed to parallel lines. So, from the first set of lines, I'm sorry. Line R is parallel to line S. So, this is the symbol for parallel. Okay, parallel. And line W is parallel to line Z. So, how do we define parallel lines? Parallel lines are lines that do not intersect. So, kung yung perpendicular natin, perpendicular lines natin ay intersecting lines that form right angles, ang ating parallel lines ay lines that do not intersect. So, kahit i-extend pa natin yan, never silang mag -me meet or they will not meet at a certain point. So, another example, we have line A is parallel to line B. So, line A is parallel to line B. And line P is parallel to line Q. Okay? They will never meet. Magkahiwalay sila ha. Separate sila. Okay? Okay, ito yung first set at ito yung second set. Now, for your uh, learning tasks, in learning task 1, given the following pairs of angles, write the congruence between them in symbols. So, ito yung example natin dun sa ating lip. So, angle FIT is congruent to angle RUN. So, kasi pareho silang 40 degrees. So, ganun lang. Ininame lang natin yung um, angles na congruent. Pag sinabing congruent, same measurement. Now, for learning task 2, ang gagawin naman, match angles in column A with the angles in column B to form a pair of complementary angles. Write the letter of your answer on the blank. So, Pag nag-form tayo ng complementary angles, paano nga natin makukuha yon? Subtract 90 degrees by the given angle. Sa example, meron tayong angle dito na may measurement na 20. So, 90 degrees minus 20 degrees is equal to 70 degrees. So, ma-minus lang natin. 90 minus 20, 70. Then, for letter B, Match the, the angles in column A with the angles in column B to form a pair of supplementary angles. So, this time, supplementary naman. So, kapag supplementary, subtract 180 degrees by the given angle. So, given again 20 degrees, so 180 degrees minus 20 degrees is 160 degrees. So, yun naman yung gagawin sa learning task 2B. For learning task 3, Write five pairs of vertical angles. So, nandito sa figure na to, may given tayong sample. Um, 
angle C A R daw ay uh, congruent sa angle S A T. So, they are vertical angles daw. So, kailangan nyo pang magbigay ng 5 more pairs given tayo dito ng intersecting lines. So, meron tayong 3 lines that intersect. At point A. Point A is called the point of intersection. For learning task 4, given the following linear pairs, find the measurement of the missing angle. So, meron tayong given dito na linear pair. Sabi nga, kapag linear pair ay, ang sum nila is 180 and adjacent. So, dapat may common side. So, katulad nito. So, paano natin yung sasagutan? Subtract 180 degrees by the given angle. So, measure of angle K is equal to 180 minus ang given is 105. So, answer is 70. So, subtract lang ng ang 180 by the given angle. Then, for the assimilation, you have to fill in the blanks only. Assessment or quiz, choose the letter of your best answer. And for the reflection in your notebook, complete the following. I understand that blank. I realize that blank and I need to learn more about blank. So, again, Itong mga learning tasks 1 to 4, assimilation assessment quiz ay gagawin sa whole sheet of paper, reflection in your notebook. And thank you for listening.